live from Tupelo High School. Graham Taylor. Kyle Holliman. Hayden Buckley. William Eichard. Tay Walton. Lindsey White. Carson Roberts. Bryson Sheffield. Bryce Hunt. Ann Mackenzie Smith. Nick Greener. Zach Ellis. Sam Bertolet. Daniel Purnell. Lauren Lasordo. Woody Goss. Katie Taylor. Kelsey Brownlee. And Alexis Evans. This is WTHS News. Hello, I'm Bryce Hunt, and I'm Nick Greener. This is WTHS for Friday, November 15th. Here are this week's top stories. Susan Dudley's boys and girls bowling team will kick things off today at Rebel Lanes. Last year's girls teams won the State 2 class state title while the boys placed third. Miss Dudley tells us that many new faces could contribute for both squads early in the year. We caught up with a few students to ask them what the sport means to them and how they plan to make this season successful. I started coaching in 2004-2005 school years, so we've been coaching for nine years now. For the first three years of the program, it was a pilot program, but the third year of that program, we did run a state tournament, and the boys' team, we only had a boys' team at that time, won the state tournament. The boys then won the next five state tournaments, which were official state championships, and the girls have won the last three state championships. The returning girls are practicing really hard at this point. We've also picked up a couple of younger girls that are going to that are stepping up to take the place of the senior that we lost last year, Madison Stafford. Um, they're just working really hard. Their practices have um, are developing, and I think we're going to be ready for our first match this year. We've also developed a pretty competitive schedule to help us get ready for that state tournament. The boys, most all of my boys have returned except one and uh, they are really practicing hard at this point and their scores are improving so I think they've really got a good chance of stepping back up and stepping back into that state championship. Well outside of high school bowling I bowl other tournaments and one is called Junior Gold and I bowled it this summer. It was in Detroit, Michigan and it's considered a national tournament and I won it for the um, under 15 girls so I'm considered a national champion and I got $6,000 scholarship and a lot of college people looking at me so that was cool. We really don't do anything else differently we just bowl more so we can get better with our natural form. There's a good chance you're not going to get hurt. There's usually never any injuries. Um, compared to the other sports they're more physical than mental and to bowl you have to have a strong mental game because they can get other teams can get into your head. What are some training habits other than throwing the ball down the lane? Um, we have target practice so you can practice hitting your target. Um, we practice hitting like certain pins that are harder to pick up. Who is some of y'all's big competition? Um, Olive Branch and uh, Clinton. With swim and cross country concluded, fall sports are coming to a close. Basketball went one and one against West Point Tuesday night with the girls winning easy and the boys falling in a close one. Football hosts Warren Central in the first round of 6A playoffs tonight at 7. The winner will face the winner of DeSoto Central and Madison Central next week. Last week both cross country teams swept the 6A state championships at Clinton. The programs now have a combined 33 state titles. Here's Coach Begno and Coach Sloan, both Tupelo alumni, to tell us what it felt like to recapture the crown. Um, I'd have to say the people who would improve the most for us would be Mako Dykewell and um, Logan Long. This year the seniors were really crucial. Andrew White, Mako Dykewell, and Michael Robinson. They were three guys and they were incredibly consistent. They were always in our top five all year long. My senior, one of my seniors, Sabrina Hudgens, improved. Uh, she didn't have a long way to go, but you know her the little improvement she made made a big difference. And I had, actually, I had an eighth grader who improved a lot. She came in fifth at state, and if she hadn't come in, you know, in that spot and at that time and in that place, we might not have won. Yeah, um, Mika Takahashi, who is 
she's in 11th grade, but she's graduating early this year. So she really stepped up big time because our our best runner, Christina Daniels, went out with a impending stress fracture. So she was out a lot of the season. She's one of the best runners in the state. So Mika stepped up and really ran well, as did uh, Sabrina and Savannah Hudgens, who's in seventh grade. And uh, yeah, I mean, I had, a, I had a, a lot of people run really well, but those are the ones that stand out. This year, THS has three band members that were chosen to perform in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, Zach Campbell, Patrick Knight, and Isaac Palmer. These festivities are always televised and will take place in New York City in a few weeks. We asked these talented students about this prestigious honor. Uh, I applied, I sent in an audition video. This one's way different because it's in front of like three and a half million people and it's, uh, it's pretty nerve wracking, but um, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, like I said, it's, uh, I'm nervous and I'm just gonna do my best and hopefully that'll be what these guys are looking for. This is like something that not a lot of band kids get to do. Um, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty exciting. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's, it's the same with like costs and stuff. It's a lot of money, but uh, I mean, we don't ever, besides taking a trip with band every other year, this is something that, you know, extra that kids do. Uh, yeah, this summer I went with the All-State Band to Germany and we performed over there in a parade. No, our band director suggests that we try out based on our skill levels and it's something we do independently. So we send in our own auditions and they choose who they think would fit best in the parade. I participate in the Mississippi All-State Band Lions Band and it's similar because we both have to audition and it's something that isn't required, it's something we do on our own time. Besides the Lions Band, we have honor bands and clinics like the Ole Miss Honor Band or the Northeast Honor Band. I've participated in those.